Okay guys, let's head out and go thrifting. Okay guys, I'm here at the Goodwill and they have this drop leaf table for $35. Those scratches were pretty deep, so I don't think I would pay $35 for it, but someone might. $40 for this kitchen table. Now that's a better deal because it's in much better shape for only $5 more. Really don't understand their pricing between how they price something in bad shape and something in good shape with only a $5 difference. These are supposedly nightstands and this is very interesting because these things are so tall they come up to my waist. Let me show you this antique dresser now that they've moved everything out of the way. They still want $50 for it. The drawers need some love. It's been here two to three weeks, hasn't sold yet. They really should drop the price on this thing so it will sell. If they drop the price a little bit, then some DIYer would probably come in here and buy it and fix it up. But a lot of people don't want antique furniture anymore. I thought this was a piano bench, but it's just a stool that's been covered with some fabric. It caught my eye because I used to have a bread basket that was lined with that same fall harvest pattern fabric. I really wish they would have used this space to expand the outlet store next door. And by that, I mean having it as all one big store instead of two separate stores. Here's a wall shelf that's sitting on the floor. They still have a lot of the same artwork as what I've shown you in the past couple of videos. I really don't know why they don't price this stuff a little bit lower and get it sold. This little nightstand is cute, but it's veneer on top and the veneer has some damage to it. I would have bought it if it would have been solid wood, but it's not. It's at a decent price, so I'm sure somebody else will probably buy it soon enough. Fifteen apiece. I can go to another Goodwill location and buy those same pictures for $9.99. I just don't understand why there's such a discrepancy in the pricing systems in various Goodwill stores. You watch my videos for the Salvation Army thrift stores or for the Habitat for Humanity Restore, you will see that they both offer senior discounts and military discounts on certain days of the week. They also hold 20 to 50% off sales on other days of the week. This little incense holder has been here for I don't know how long, but I know it's been in at least two to three of my past videos. This small glass bowl, it's been in my past few videos too. And listen, don't blame the employees. They're just doing what they're supposed to do or what they were trained to do. Employees in this store work really hard and they're always nice and friendly. I think they're often short staffed in this store or stretched a little bit too thin. Wow, this is a really nice basket. You can find some really good baskets at your thrift stores, y'all. This metal tray is really cute. I don't need it, so I'll leave it for one of you. This little basket's super cute. I don't know what I'd use it for, but you know, I could always find something, I'm sure. And look, there's one of the fabric line baskets under there. You guys know I love the fabric line baskets. Well, this is a cute bud vase. It looks like someone handmade this. It's signed. These milk glass lamps are still here. I am assuming that everyone else is as weary as I am as to whether or not these are actual milk glass. Somebody help me out. I can't find any kind of identifying markings and when I tried to do a Google image search, I did not find any milk glass lamps that were similar to this with that gold base. And they're so lightweight that it just doesn't feel like it would be real milk glass. I mean, it feels like it might be some kind of glass, but I don't believe that it's milk glass. I'm just going to pan around here so you can try to get a better look at the layout of this store back here in the back. There's some kids running around in here playing and I'm trying to avoid capturing them in my video. 
I don't know what's changed unless it's just a staff turnover, but ever since the pandemic, you can come into Goodwills now and there are children throwing balls in the store and running up and down the house. Previous to the pandemic, uh, that kind of behavior wasn't allowed in their stores. Make it quite challenging for the rest of us to try to shop. And it's definitely quite hazardous to the older people or people with mobility issues walking around using canes and walkers. They usually have some really nice glassware and houseware items in here. I'm just not finding anything that I want to buy today. Well, these are cute. And again, I don't need these. I'm just showing them to you so one of you knows that they're here and you can buy them. Okay, I've got a kid running up and down the aisle behind me here in the glassware section. These kids are definitely full of energy today. Okay guys, bear with me. I'm just trying to dodge the kids so I don't capture them in my video. <laughs> they want $3 for this little pot with the lid. I like the color green and this was so bright that it caught my eye and I just had to stop and check it out. Okay guys, this is a Wexford candy dish by Anchor Hawking and comp prices online are $32. I'm not a reseller and I don't need another candy dish, so I'll leave that behind for one of you to get. Over here's a little brass basket. I know a lot of people still collect brass. They want $3 for this one. Oh, and there's a little brass flower shaped tray too. These are just some painted flower pots. This bar height table does come with the two chairs. It needs a little bit of love. They want $30 for it, but for $30 you're getting the table and two chairs, so that's not a shabby deal. I can't believe no one's bought the bouncy horse for only $25. It's like brand new, y'all. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope to see you again for tomorrow's video. Love you, bye.